Okay? Sorry? Peripherals? Peripherals. Right. What, what kind of peripherals do you find? Oh, those, no. When you talk about servers, you typically don't go for graphic cards, RAMs. Of course, RAM is a very important, um, it's taken for granted. When I say blade servers, you basically have one chassis that you can put 16 blade servers inside. Each of these blade servers are, uh, is one, one operating system, and they are all sharing a common pool of, say, uh, 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 usually in the region of 128 gig RAM that's being shared across the 16 servers. So, that is what we are looking at. And also, there are storage area network. When I say a persistent world, meaning at every one minute, we are growing by gigs and gigs of data. Every single damn thing that you guys do on the game is being logged, right? You play, and you say, okay, you pick up this item. In my log, it shows this player pick up this item. So that later on, when we do logging, we do all the things, we are able to find out. And everything is traced accordingly. The database grows so massive that you need a sophisticated storage area network in order to serve an online game. Of course, you also need very high-end network equipment like the core routers, smart switches, because you, you, you then need to uh, manage an infrastructure where there are private IPs and there are internal IPs. You need to protect your data well. Uh, protect your database as well, and you are also able to show your web service and whatsoever out to the public. Next component will be the software. We basically covers almost every um, software that we have, uh, the Windows, the Linux, Unix servers. Uh, we have databases on the SQL, Oracle servers, uh, database servers. We also employ like uh, HP OpenView software in order for us to monitor hundreds of servers at any one time. We need to know when a certain server goes down, uh, what is wrong with it. Because we, we, in, our, in our data center, we could easily have three, four hundred servers. There's operating one title or two titles. When you look at that, you couldn't have one engineer who say, oh, one of the servers is spoiled, you know? I should go there and have a look. No way, he's going to perspire and start digging up which of this RAM is gone, you know? You can literally imagine the kind of thing. So we need a very sophisticated software. If uh, Blade 1 has got a BIOS battery problem, we have to know, right? We have no time because it is 24 hours, 7, uh, 24 7 game service that is being played. Then, of course, you need the network. In order for any game to go out to the internet, you need bandwidth, right? Bandwidth in the internet is actually a very sophisticated uh, 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 art, I would say. It, really. in, the, in the world, there's only a couple of engineers that is really capable of routing the internet the way that is performed best for your title. Right? You take very, very good logic, logical mind, analytical mind to really come in and help you to, to plan your brand with, plan your network for you. So that part requires a high amount of expertise. Because in the end, that is the platform, that is the pipe that we deliver the game content to all the gamers. Okay, let's move on to governance. We need Game Master. We call them, uh, I, I like to call this the game masteries. And when we call game mastery, it involves layers like the customer service where you make the first phone call in and say, hey, you know, why is my account banned? Right? And that player says, okay, can I take down your user ID? Can I know what you do yesterday? You know? uh, and we have the game masters. They are organizing the in game events for you, they are taking care of uh, 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 announcement. We also have the community managers, like what I've mentioned just now, where they um, are the conduit between the company the game operator, and the gamers. So the community managers plays a very important role of taking care of the gamers. They are literally like the, um, we, we call them the gamer gods. Okay, Every time I have a bad news that I need to release to the gamers, I will go through the community managers, who will then say, hey, come on guys, calm down. I have something to tell you. We're increasing the price, something like that. And we also have the game manager. So in this instance, I'm, I'm a game manager for several of the, the games that we are running. Um, by game manager, sometimes I have to make very drastic decisions, uh, some decisions that uh, 
you know, a game has to make money in order to survive because it's 24-7. You need to pay for all the things that you saw on the hardware, software, and bandwidth. It has to be a business, uh, vi it has to be a viable business. Of course, then we look at the policies. Policies is uh, essentially block of tax, war of tax, which nobody reads until they're banned. True enough, it always happened. So when these players start abusing, start screaming vulgarities at his friend and say, hey, why is my account banned? You know, why am I given limited access? Oh, sorry, you have been banned because of certain policies. So our policies has to be very strict. Because when you look at the community, it's as good as a government. If you want to do bad things, then don't get caught. Okay? Because if you get caught and somebody is complaining against you, we have no choice but to take action. Because if we practice any kind of favoritism, any kind of biasness towards any gamer, he would at any one time go out and say, hey man, I just make a call to the game manager and I asked him to unban me and he got it for me. The game manager would be sacked. Very easy. Because you are managing a population like a country. You couldn't let anybody go. It is almost like a country. It is a very, very strict system here. And you also look at the game etiquette. How the community manager would actually be um, um, educating the gamers, you know, this is the best way for you to behave in order to get the best kind of uh, results from playing the games. Okay? And we also look at the punishment metrics. You know, a lot of times we, um, we went to the, we, for, for certain amount of punishment uh, that's been dealt out to the gamers, they will make noise. Uh, because they, they felt that it's unfair or everybody will feel that they're innocent, okay? But we have to make sure that all these are in black and white when it goes out to the gamers. And by loggers and investigations, anybody know what this is about? Okay, that's the next price, all right? Um, like people who like look after all the servers and all that kind of stuff like if they see you cheating They'll ban you and stuff He got it partially correct, but I'm still gonna give it because I have the whole stack <laughs> no problem. All right, can I have the lady with the phone? Do you know what is a logger? Yeah, it's like basically someone that um watches the service to make sure that no one's like cheating or anything? What it does, what, what they do is that they record everything that happens. So if someone's been cheating, they can and see it again as if it was hap They can see it as, it's ha as if it was happening right in front of them. And they can check to see it, like, what, everything on the service happening to see if they're abusing glitches. He got it correct. By logger, he basically look at the logs. <coughs> there are tons and tons of server logs, right? He has to identify which are the, the area of the log that he has to look at and then put up a report to the game masters to say, yes, we have done our investigation. According to the log, he has attempted to cheat this item from this player, okay? And these are his chat logs. And these are his item logs. He has officially transferred something to this guy. And we have logged all these things out, all in a proper documentation. And then we make the decision to say, yes, sorry, we have to do the punishment to the player. It is a very, very tough job because you are essentially looking at millions of lines 